Hey guys, it's Carrie, and guess what? I have a box. And this box is from Amazon. <laughs> there are two dolls in here that I bought from a seller on Amazon.com. The seller's name, I think, is uh, Ava BJD. So I have two dolls in here. Uh, they were a really good price, at least so it looked. So I'm going to take a look at these with you guys and see if they're worth the value that they were pay I paid for. And I'll tell you what I paid for them later. Okay, so here they are. Uh, they're in a box. In a box. <laughs> so, let's see. I know that they're... Imported. They're either Japanese or Chinese. I don't know one way or another. But, um... It says right on here, on the little barcode. Eva BJD. Toy DIY model. And then it says new something here. So I don't know. But um let's get rid of this box. I was gonna do one at a time, do a review for each one, because they deserve their own spotlight, but since they both came together and I'm way too antsy to wait until opening up for one for the next day, I'm gonna open them both today. So I have to get scissors, I think. Okay, so I could have sworn that I that I saw on their website that they came in their own special boxes, but I I guess I'm wrong because you know these are shipping boxes. But let's see here. So I'm pulling her out foot first. Apparently, I see some pink shoes. Well, here's our first girl, and we're gonna look at her in detail after I pull out the other girl. Oh, she looks really cute. This she, oh she's coming out head first. Okay, so here she is. Let's go and look at our blue-haired girl first, because that was the one that um, I found first, and I'm pretty excited for her. I mean, I mean I'm excited for them both, but because I, I, want, I had to get them both, because I, I, I don't know. She needed a friend. So let's open up this bag that's sealed pretty good. So right off the bat, I noticed that this girl's super chunky. Like, she has a chunky body. Um, that's a good thing, I think. She has inset eyes. So wait a minute, let's start here. So we're gonna go uh, look. We're take a look at her. Uh, it looks like okay. So, <sighs> all right. So she has this really cute pink bow on the top of her head. Uh, I'm gonna. I I think her hair is rooted and not a wig. But let me just check. So her hair is rooted. Uh, it's like a really really light blue color, like a sky blue color. She has brown inset eyes with real eye eyelashes. Well, I mean, not real eyelashes, but I guess real, you know. So, they're real and they're painted on. Her her makeup is very subtle. She's got a little blushing around the cheeks and the, and the eyes. And a little tiny bit on her pouty lips. I can Here's like a silhouette of her head right there. Or you can kind of see the side look. As for her hair quality, I, I mean, it's soft, but it's not really that thick. So you have to be creative... Like, as long as you keep it the way it is, it's fine. But if you start lifting it up in certain ways, there are kind of bald spots, which kind of makes me a little irritated. Um, but either way, her head does move up and down and back and forth. It's very tight, which is good. Uh, she has a, quite a bit of articulation, so her arms move up and down and back and forth. She twists right here. But you can see there's a little bit of gapping going on right here, where that kind of plugs in. I don't really like that that much. I guess it's kind of okay, but she is supposed to be brand new, I thought. So, um, yeah, so she's got the uh, the cool elbow joint that will allow her to have a lot of movement or a lot of angle at, on her hands. So we'll show you that. So there's that elbow joint right there. And then she also has the same type of joint almost on her hands, which are spread out in a fan, uh, in a fan way, which is good. Uh, so her wrists tw sw twist like this, and then you can actually move them up like that as well. And she can cover her mouth like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so, yeah. So she's got that going on. And then, I don't know, does she have wrist art articulation? I'm not sure. Oh, she does have underwear on. That's cool. I haven't actually gone over her outfit yet. But I don't know. Yes, so she can swivel at the waist. Um... Not the bust line. She doesn't have much of a bust line. I think that she's more supposed to be like a 
maybe a preteen girl or something. I'm not really sure what her age level is. Um, but she's very flat-chested. She does have, uh, so her cool dress, I really, really like this dress. I don't even know where to start. It's so cute. It's like a baby doll dress, um, that has light pink ribbony type straps with, um, some shimmery lace underneath it. She has two bows. They're bow buttons, and they're pink. And then she also has some, um, beads that look like pearls that are right in the center of her top. And then you have a, a cool little bow. Uh, I really like that ribbon design. Goes down to a different material that is yellow and it has cakes. I think it has a cake on it. And some berries and some other desserts. And then it has like a mock ribbon that goes kind of around it on the bottom of the fabric. And then you have this really nice lace that has gold embedded in it on the bottom. So that's a really cute dress, I think. There were some reviews out there saying that the dress, the material on the dress wasn't really that great. But I'll tell you right now, her price point, she was $20. So let's just do the math. So $20 for a doll that has a quite a bit, I haven't even finished going over her, her articulation. She is ball jointed in her, in her waist, I think. Hold on. So yes, yeah, she has ball joints here that go out or, or, Articulation that goes out here and then back and forth. It's nice. And then she also has the legs with the same type of articulation that her um, her elbows do. So you can kneel her or have her posed in a certain way. She also has a good amount of articulation in her ankles. So her ankles go back and forth and side to side. So um, how many points is that? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, she's really nice. I'm going to... Pose her in a certain way, put her down, and then we're going to go look at our other girl with the brown hair. Okay, so here is our brown hair girl. Um, um, she actually has a lot more fuller hair than our girl with the blue hair. She has this cool little puffy metallic pink heart in the top of her hair. She also has two ponytails that are holding her bangs in a side part. She also has the same deep brown eyes with real eyelashes on it and painted on eyelashes. I noticed that they both have earring holes but didn't come with earrings as far as I know. I'll, I'll check again but I didn't see them. They both have that pouty look with a little bit of red and pink involved. They also have really nice um, eyebrows that match their hair color I think. Let me just check the other girl again while we're while we're at it. Okay they both have Dark, like a darker or a medium brown type eyebrow. Uh, let's see. And then going down to her outfit, I don't even know how to describe this. It reminds me of, I don't know, some sort of snow white dress. It's really, really pretty. So you have this really, the, the it's almost a ribbony type fabric. And um, I think it's a full dress. If I'm, I don't know if that's, if this is an actual shirt under it. Okay. No, it's two piece. That is a, that is a, that's not so okay so she has a two-piece on that is an actual blouse that can come off um, underneath a suspender type uh, dress type on the top so I don't uh, <laughs> I don't know how to describe this um, it's very ribbony it's a ribbony fabric it's white and then you have the white oh, this is a name for this part right here <laughs> and then you have red uh, faux buttons. They're like bead buttons here. And then you have another metallic heart that's pink with some metallic silver wings that are behind it going on as like a belt line or a waistline. And then she has this cool yellow, pink, and like orangey type design for her dress. And then she has frillies on the bottom. She's wearing underwear as well. But here's where you guys can see that the shirt is an actual another piece. So she's got a two-piece outfit, which is impressive nowadays. Now, I didn't go over the shoes. They both have the same shoes. They are a little ill-fitting, I think. Are they both the same shoes? Let me just make sure. I know they're the same colors. Uh, hmm. Yeah, they are. They're both the same shoes. And I think this fit these fit her, but they're put on wrong. 
This one was definitely put on wrong. So, um, we'll fix that. Um, yeah, so, as I drop it. So she does have the same type of articulation as our other girl. It is a little bit more limited than some of the other dolls I've shown on you guys this channel, but honestly, for the price point for these girls, I think they're fabulous. And they're imported. I know they're imported. <laughs> I know they're um, some sort of Asian imported. Ooh, you want to take a look at her feet while her, um, her shoes are off? I think they're really, really cute feet. Let's see if I can get that to focus. She has adorable feet. Okay. I love them. Okay. <laughs> Let me find her shoe that went flying. Yeah, her shoes are definitely a little ill-fitting. I think hers are too. Um, no, these ones look a little okay. But uh, I got them posed a little bit there for you guys to just check out their posability. I'm actually overall super happy with them, and I'm excited to add them to my collection. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!